Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this nine tier shoe rack organizer. So you can place shoes, handbags, umbrellas, slippers, magazines, anything that you want to put in your organizer. Alright so right here we have our nine tier shoe rack organizer. This is a large capacity. It's got metal hooks, hanging pockets, it's waterproof PP gaskets for high heels. This is super easy to assemble for your fitting room. This is made of thickened iron pipes, high quality plastic parts. It is very sturdy and durable. Again, this is super easy to put together. I'm going to show you how to put it together in this video. So right here is all the supplies that you need to put this together. So you have these labeled. These are labeled as C's. The smaller ones are D's. So you get a few bags of these ones. So this large capacity shoe rack is about 50 by 12 inch by 62 inch, which can hold between 50 to 55 pairs of shoes. One side is attached with a row metal hook for hanging bags and hats. And the hanging pockets on the other side allows you to store for small stuff like shoes coverings, foldable shopping bags, slippers, magazines. So here's some more of the parts. So having this will actually help save some space. The shoe rack features a comfortable profile so you can easily set the shoe rack in the hallway in a living room, bedroom, garage. It also you can use this for toys, books, clothes to help minimize clutter of your house. It is sturdy and durable. The shoe rack is made of thickened iron pipes with high quality plastic parts. The diameter of the metal tube is 13 millimeter and the waterproof PP gaskets that make it very sturdy and stable. It's durable with a power coated finish that does not rust or corrode with normal use, which means the shoe rack can be used for decades. So here's some extra products that you get. You get the hooks, you get a little hammer, you get the user manual. This basically tells you how to assemble it, which is super easy to assemble. So these are the little D's. So these are the smaller parts. And then you get a few extras. So here's one extra and these two are for the smaller ones are for the top to connect the hook rack. And this one goes also for the top. And there is your instructions guide. It saves you by step by step, step one through step five, which is super easy. And it tells you the packaging list, what comes with this. So it's everything that you need to put this together. So this shoe rack is multifunctional. It can bear up to 250 pounds, high quality steel tubes, waterproof and, res and rust re resistant. So this is what it looks like with the finished product. And this one here is for the hanging pockets on the other side, which allows you to store small stuff like shoe covers, foldable shopping bags, magazines. And then this one right here is an attached with the waterproof gaskets. So you just put this one on the top shelf as well as the two side shelves. So this is everything that you do get inside the bag. So we're going to go ahead and put this together and I'm going to show you step by step how simple and easy this is to put together. So the product dimensions is 12 by 16 by 62 inches. The weight is 11.47 pounds. So now first off we're going to work on the step one. And on the step one we were going to do the top two racks. So now these here are the A's. And the bigger ones are the B's. So you can tell the difference between the A's and B's. The A's are a bit skinnier and the B's are a bit fatter. And then now what we want to do is connect those with our C, which is the long tubes right here. So each one of these will hold four. So right here we want to stick the tubes in each one of these little holes.
So now we want to finish with the other two. So now that we finished with that one, we want to take our B, which is a bit thicker. You can tell by the thickness of it. Just set it in there like this. You'll have to do this at least two more times. So you got A, B, and then you'll have another B. And then the very end, you'll have a side A. So in the middle, you want to put your C tubing. They just go in there just like that, easy. Pop in the other C. So now you want to grab another B, which is the thicker one. Just put it in there like this. Make sure you line up the holes. Once they're lined up, you can use a little hammer to hammer it in to tighten it up. And then once you've got that one connected, you want to take another C on top of this one, those little C poles. Stick them in every one of these little holes right here. And then you'll finish off with the skinnier A for the end. Just push them in there just like this, super easy. So now that we got this one done, we want to grab a skinnier one, which is the end. You want to grab the A, then you want to just connect it to the end. Make sure you line them up. And then use your little hammer to tighten it up. All right, now that is completely finished. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the other one but the other one has the material on top of it for the gaskets. So now we're gonna do the same thing as this. The only difference is, is we're gonna add this in between all of the middles. So again, we're gonna take our A part, connect our C tubing in the middle So there's four little holes, you'll need four of these C tubes. So what you want to do is, the first one and the last one, they have little holes here, you just want to slide it in there like that. Make sure it is above the other tubes that are in the middle. So this basically just sits on top of them. So once you put these in there, you lift that up and over so it should look like this. On the last tube, you'll put the tube in here like that, just like the first one. Just slide it in there. So it'll be flimsy until you put the B part. So it's kind of flimsy. Make sure you line it up. I'm going to tap it in there to make sure it stays in there. Alright, so now what we'll do is grab our B part, which is the thicker end. Line it up. So once this is completely lined up and it is in there tight, this thing here at the top will tighten up as well so it won't be so flimsy. Again, once you got it in, you can use your hammer. So once you have it in tightly, you can see that it is not loose. It's actually really tight. Now we want to build it just like we did the other one. Just add our seed tubes in there. We want to grab this. Again, putting the first and the last tubes in there. And then we're going to add our B part. So we got one more we got to do. Add the C's in there. And once we're finished, we add the very end in A, which is the a lot thinner. So now this one looks just like the top one. So the one we just finished right now, that will be at the very top of the shoe rack. So now we gotta build the smaller portion. So again, this is the A. We're gonna go and put the C tubes in there. Finishing off this one right here is a B. 
So then we're gonna fill this up with our C tubing. And at the bottom, we're gonna add our Ds, which are the a lot smaller ones. So now we got this finished build. We're gonna grab our D tubing, which is these smaller ones. We're gonna put them on at the bottom because we're gonna connect this rack to the bottom rack. So here is our D tubing. We wanna make sure we do it all four of them on both sides. Use your hammer to tighten it up. So now we're making the second one for the other side. So it'll go like this on the other side. Again, we're gonna grab our D tubing. We're gonna stack it on here like that. So now that we got these ones done, now we wanna put this one right here at the top. This one is as big as the top ones. So using the D tubing on the bottom of them, we wanna line them up, tap them with the little hang hammer. So it should look like this. So you kind of have a little space at the bottom between the two. And then now we're gonna do the smaller ones at the top. So we're gonna build those using the A and B with the C tubing, just like we did with the two bottom ones. So we're gonna do one right here and one on the other side. So it's the short ones, then a long one, then a short one, then a long one, and then another short one, and then you have the top one. So just like this, you wanna put them in each hole, line them up. You wanna do it on both sides. So now we got this one in, now we have to go the other side and tighten this one up. You can use a little hammer. So once you got these there, this is where you'll put the next long one in. You gotta line it up in the holes, make sure they're in each hole, and then you use a little hammer to hammer it down to hold it down. So once you're done with that, it should look like this. So now we're gonna go and build the topper part. So this is what it should look like. So now we're gonna build the small ones. So now we got the two small ones up here and then now we gotta do the big one. So now we're gonna build it just like the two small ones but we're gonna add it for the three ones just like this one, add it on the top. Make sure you line it up into the holes. You use the little hammer, hammer it in to make sure it stays. So now you got all this one like that. So next one we're gonna do is we're going to build another small one. And then we're gonna add these ones here, just like we did at the very top. This is the A the B, and then we have the two small C's. So now this right here, just like we had the longer one, but these are gonna be the short ones, so it should look like this. So you should have one on each side. And now at the bottom, we're gonna put in our small D tubing. So we're just gonna add the D tubing in all eight of these holes right here. So once you got them all in, you just set it on top of the rack lining it up. Make sure they're in the hole, then go ahead and use a hammer to tighten it up. So we got this side. Now we gotta make our way to the other side. So if you got it in correctly, it should look like this. So now we have the other side. So now the first time what we did on the very first step was this one here. We wanna set this one on top. This is the last tier. We wanna put it right up in there. Make sure they're in the holes, lined up with it. Then use the little hammer to hammer it in to tighten it up. So now that we have that tightened up, we have these little holes right here. We wanna put them on the top to finish them off. You wanna do two on this side, two on the other side. Now you'll take these tubing with these little, and they should be at the top. This should finish them off, so they should look like this. And on the very top of the rack, they just fit on here on the ends, 
on both ends so it should look just like this again pushing it down really hard you can use the little hammer that was included so now let's make our way to this one right here we're gonna pop it on here so it should just look like this so when you have completed it it should look like this now what we're gonna do is install the the hooks on the side right here so you can put your hanging bags you can put your umbrellas now this side is the organizer so there's velcro right here so when you put it up just right it should velcro on there so this is where you can put your slippers your magazines if this is for kids you can put some toys or something in there this is a little organizer it just hangs just like this this is what it should look like when you're finished So now we're just going to add some stuff on there. So I give you an example. So here's some shoes, slippers, a purse, a light, a box, a toy. And on the side of the bag, I went and put some kids toys in it. Some mailing items. You can put some magazines, some slippers. On the other side, you can hang an umbrella, some purses, handbags. So this is what it looks like with it completely fully done if you have done it correctly it should look like this if you're interested in a nice shoe rack and an organizer this is super easy to put together it didn't take me no more than about 10-15 minutes this is a really nice one it is not too too big it holds up to 50 to 55 pairs of shoes it is about 50 by 12 by 62 inches it is super nice. If you're looking for a shoe rack, I would definitely say check this one out. You will be so impressed with this one.